Hey guys, a lot of people ask me why my pronunciation is so good and why I speak English so confidently and fluently. Well, of course, today I will share with you some tips that you can practice on your own and try your best. You can do it. To be honest, when I was in first grade, I literally didn't know any English words. Yeah, I was really bad at English. I can't speak anything. And when I was in third grade, like I can speak some English, but they were bad English. I had a high pitch voice, and no one can understand what I'm saying. And now I have improved a lot. There are some tips. Well, actually, there are eight tips. Eight tips, so we can all try, and maybe you will can you can do it, and you will you will speak better. Yeah. So yeah, let's start with the first tips. And as I'm saying the tips, I will also explain it to you. And at home, you can do it. Tip number one: speak slowly and pronounce every word clearly. Yeah, right now I'm speaking really slowly. Well, not too slowly, but not too fast, not too slow. And pronounce every word clearly, so you can hear every word I'm saying. Right? A lot of my students speak English really fast, even though they are good at English, but they still speak really fast, and no one can hear them. Tips number two: You can speak fluently, and don't focus too much too much on the grammar. Yeah, don't focus too much on the grammar. Why? When you speak, you just need to describe what you are saying to the person in front of you. Sometimes, I'm not exactly, exactly right on the grammar. Sometimes I was wrong, but I don't care too much about on the grammar. Yeah. And tips number three: practice English, especially when you are speaking. Look into the mirror or put your phone in front of you. Like I'm putting my phone in front of me now. So you can see your face, your mouth shape, they're wrong or right, and also your hand. You can do like something, twirl, like body language. Yeah, it will make you feel natural and like a native speaker, a native speaker, of course. And tip number four: when you watch a cartoon like Peppa Pig or some comedy in English, like Extra. Extra mini comedy or some scene, short scene in some famous film. You can choose the funniest scene or the part that you like the most, and imagine, just imagine in your head that you are that actor or you are that actress, and you act that line, the same, just the same as that actress or the actor in that film. Just imagine, and you can do way better than that. Yeah, way better. Like imagine I'm watching this cartoon or this film, and I'm imagining that I am this character. I memorize the line and I'm act just like that. Motion, your hand move just like them. Yeah, and also your feelings just like them. Imagine that you are that actor or that actress. You can do anything. Number five, ending sounds are important. And also, pronounce the right stress on the words. I like this part. Like when I do videos about vocabularies, ending sound are important. I say clearly the ending sound, right? And some of my students always lost ending sound, and also their stress are wrong. So you must like pronounce the right stress. And if you don't know the stress in that word, you must search for it.、Mm -hmm. Of course, like for example, the word "beautiful." The stress is on the first syllable, "beau." When you don't pronounce the stress or wrong, maybe "beautiful" or "beautiful," it's wrong. Not saying that "beautiful." Or some people say "beautiful," no stress at all, and kind of like you're sad. And people will laugh when you're saying like that. So remember, pronounce the right stress. Also, the ending sound. You know, ending sound. Cute t t ending sound. 
or yeah ending sound or <clears throat> some ending sound like shh uh, those are ending sound male those are ending sound maybe for example i would take the word cute you need ending sound when you say the word cute everybody understand what is the meaning of that word but when you say the word cute with no ending sound q q what is that word no one understand q if q without a t without the t nobody will understand cute yeah and number six record or film a video when you are speaking about some topics or reading yeah like i'm filming this video right now maybe you can record why do you have to do that because when you film a video you will put a camera in front of you and you will be confident and you will talk you'll be confident more confident and you will not be nervous and also when you finish film the video or finish record a video record you can check again that video and see if you are pronounced some word right or wrong if you are right you keep getting better and improve but if you are wrong with some words you must improve that right away and pronounce that word right mm -hmm. and tip number seven you must practice speaking or reading at least at least 30 minutes every day yeah at least 30 minutes try to read some short stories or books yeah that really helps you or speak in speaking you can just like practice a small small like you practice a speaking about winter so you wrote some line about winter and you start talk about winter for at least one or two minutes Mm -hmm. Maybe you can practice about one hour if you have a lot of time or 30 minutes, whatever time you like. And the last tip, tip eight, is what? Always when you are reading or speaking, always have a cup of water or milk or whatever drinks beside you. Because drinking water will help clear your throat. Clear your throat. And you will say the word clearly, right? Right enough. And try all your tips. Try all these tips at home. And I guarantee that you will be a good speaker. Bye, guys. Thank you for watching this video. And I hope you find this video useful. Enjoy this video. Bye.